So before I start my second and probably last response to Lyo Convoy, which is a major one, instead of a minor one I'll just leave up on my Drama Archive channel, I want to get things very clear, a few to be exact. Number one, this response video will concern and include definitions and showing some more context for you people if you are really demanding for it. Like you were in the video I made exposing Lyle Convoy for his hypocrisy for working with an active predator while there's a victim of sexual assault around and them being a minor at the time. So Tom indirectly endangered a minor there. Even if you see the GoFundMe page and you still haven't changed your mind whilst criticizing that video or shitting on it for the sake of shitting on it, I hope you're glad with me blocking your dumb ass in the comment section. If you trolls try to fuck around or try to do anything, like send threats or anything, I will either take them seriously if they're legit, or block you if they're not. And three, for whatever reason, if Lyle Convoy does anything shady or something that's noteworthy of pointing out the irony of, I will only do this on my drama archive until the entire drama is over, so then I can put all this in a mega compilation. So now let's begin. Do not ever try to play that game with me. I don't de-escalate. I go full scorched earth. Michael is a peaceable man. I am far more comfortable with conflict. I've been hunting actual predators for years now, and I've been dealing with lying clowns like you my whole life. You are more concerned with lovely Lena's lying. Who cares? I deal with liars every day. I'm talking to one right now. If I have somebody tap me on the shoulder and say, Lyo, there's a child predator in this server, I'm done with you and I go. Never let it be said that I won't admit when I was wrong. You're muted, by the way, now on this end. I realize have that. Have fun. Don't be with your psychosexual weirdo friends. Knowing full well that your family doesn't love you anymore. First off, there's a real example of a predator hunter IRL endangering a minor by using a minor as a decoy in an amateur sting. If you want a real life example, look no further than Kyle Swanson of St. Louis, formerly a head of a now to be defunct predator hunter vigilante group known as KTS. He was indicted forced into closing down the vigilante group and agreed to stop doing this quote-unquote predator hunting shit, which led up to all those charges against him being dropped in 2021. But let's get back on topic here, or the main focus of this video. How many convictions does old Thomas here really have under his belt? Because just labeling yourself as a predator hunter in quotations makes the phrase or name of the hobby that you're engaging in lose all of its intended meaning as time goes on. Will he mention exactly how many predators were actually convicted for committing a sexually predatory crime because of his predator hunting? If not, it doesn't matter anyway. Arrests don't count until there's a conviction that is directly a result of that arrest, eventually or down the line, no matter how long it takes. Or will he needlessly hide behind his own braggadocious nature like a coward would? Because if so, I'd like to see him try to name any. By the way, the only reason why weirdos find you, Tom, instead of the other way around, is simply because you've shown a habit of surrounding yourselves with weirdos to begin with, and trusting a few. If he actually doesn't have any convictions under his belt, he's more likely an online predator exposer anyway, given how effective he is at that, however, or rather not for most of the time. Thomas's last name, Guerra, meaning war, and Denobi's last name, Ortiz, meaning brave, strong, or fortunate, have one thing in common, dishonesty and cowardice. Surname jokes and obvious sarcasm aside, let's get serious now. And plus, if Lyo dares to try and false DMCA this video, I will take screenshots and make a video out of it. The onus is only on either the victim or witness of the crime that concerns the victim to file a police report and try to help get charges pressed on the suspect of any of these sexual crimes if they're committed at all not on a vigilante group or person such as yourself or yours truly. Because I'm not into this shit, and technically you're not really digging deep enough to be in this shit anyway. I'm totally not saying that he 
does not have a single conviction that's related to the crime of any predator committing a crime that's literally relevant to them being sexually predatory, be it sexual battery, sexual assault, or even child rape, now am I? Of course I am. Because there's not a single goddamn one under his belt. He actually doesn't. But that's if any of these predators he caught, in quotations, had committed an actual crime. That's not the case, however, with Lyle Convoy, also known as Thomas Guerra of Spring, Texas. I, among anyone else who knows how to do research and the history of him being falsely DMCA'd by shitty terminally online people like Denobi Ortiz, already know what house you live in. But since that's not relevant, I will be at least respectful enough and not bring that up. Unless you do something to where I have to. And of course there's Vita too. But we can't listen to him, no. He's just, he's all about drama, right? So we should ignore everything he says. None of you are talking about this. Instead, you're still doing what you've always done. Sit quietly and hope it all just magically goes away like this is some infantile drama. None of you learned from the incident with Pedo Hat. And your lack of action only continues to prove that. The best you've done here was exposed Grizzly the Medic. And now that predator, after being exposed, can never land a job in that field he was working in ever again. Not because you got him convicted, not that you have to, because you didn't, even though it was the closest to getting one. But the fact is that anything you've done at all had an impact, IRL, in that one example alone. If anything, that predator doesn't even need to be hunted down or arrested until he actually committed an actual crime or felony just being predatory and sending nsfw nudes be it a work of art or an image taken by a cell phone camera after having engaged in online erotic roleplay with that said minor just won't cut it for getting actual justice or a conviction underneath your belt even if the victim is at the age of consent no matter which state they live in to be more accurate and blunt you have exposed predators in the brony analysis community which is a subsection of the My Little Pony community, among many others. But that's all you've done for the past five plus years. I'm not going to name them all, because that's clearly not the point of this response video. But not hunted them down, however, even if you found their docs privately and were just respectful enough not to publicize them. You merely expose these predators whilst crying and complaining that these vulnerable communities, yeah, as if they weren't vulnerable already without your help, which they are, not doing anything about this. I'm not going to count any time that Tom or Vita or both went out of their way to publicly out more and more bronies or people in a community that turn out to be actual predators without those quote-unquote predators haven't committed a crime yet. Predator exposing is not the same even if you work with an actual predator yourself. If we can define a hunter in general, or at least the second definition that's relevant, according to Merriam-Webster, it is one that searches for something or someone, let alone a predator, be it online or IRL. If we can define a sexual predator in a general sense, According to Wikipedia, a sexual predator is a person seen as obtaining or trying to obtain sexual contact with another person in a metaphorically predatory or abusive manner. Analogous to how a predator hunts down its prey, so the sexual predator is thought to quote-unquote hunt for his or her sex partners. People who commit sex crimes such as rape, or child sexual abuse are commonly referred to as sexual predators, particularly in tabloid media, or as a power phrase by politicians and, yes, vigilante groups and vigilante people like yourself, Tom. Distinction from sex offenders. The term, quote-unquote, sexual predator is often considered distinct from sex offender. For example, many U.S. states make legal distinctions between these categories, defining a quote-unquote sexual offender as a person who has committed a sexual offense, 
The term sexual predator, in quotations, is often used to refer to a person who habitually seeks out sexual situations that are deemed exploitative. However, in some states in the U.S., the term sexual predator, in quotations, is applied to anyone who has been convicted of certain crimes, regardless of whether or not there is a history of similar behavior. In the state of Illinois, for instance, a person convicted of any sex crime against a minor is designated a sexual predator, no matter the nature of the crime violent versus statutory, or perpetuated against a young child versus a teenager, and regardless of past behavior. This has led to criticism that the term is being misused or overused, and thus has lost its original meaning and effectiveness. For you to just take whatever dog shit nonsense or any inane fucking retarded excuse to defend hunting down pedos, all the fucking while, having the misguided belief that all sex offenders are pedophiles, and vice versa, sorry to break it to you. No, they're not. No, they're not. If anything, people like you muddy the waters when it comes down to even discussing the very idea of pedophiles existing in certain circles at all. I may add that any actions such as calling 911, reporting these crimes to the police, yourself, IRL, and getting an actual conviction slash justice for the victim is rendered more and more pointless and unachievable due to not making the distinction between a sexual predator and a sex offender, let alone a child sexual predator or a sexual predator that goes after minors. I don't want to get into semantics because it's retarded, but you people can understand my point now, correct? The only thing you will ever have happen at the very best of times is by outing these predators simply by them engaging in online erotic roleplay, Tom, is get someone fired from their job. No actual justice will be served IRL, but again, that doesn't matter. A predator hunter in this context is hunting for the predator just as much as the predator is hunting for sexual contact or dominance over that said minor or even child. But not all cases involve minors or children. A sexual predator's victim can be a grown woman, a grown man, someone who's gay, someone who's trans, someone who's black, or somebody else of a different color or racial background, etc. We're not going to deep into any other examples involving those cases, however. If we can clarify the levels of sexual assault in both America and Canada, according to a Canadian law firm named Cruz Law Firm, and for America, according to Quinnen Law Firm, which I will link in the description box down below. The last bit is the biggest catch when it comes to whatever happened to Mint Heart before they turned 18, and before they moved out of Beaverton, Oregon, and moved into Spring, Texas with Lyle Convoy themselves. Mintart was a victim of fourth-degree sexual assault after being groped by their thigh, by their mother's ex-boyfriend, among other occasions such as their mother being allowed to sleep right with them, and when their mother told them to lie to the police about the incidents. All of this went on while Mint supposedly had a thing for Vita, even though it turned out that Vita was actively grooming Mintart, despite Vita being their groomer, Tom didn't know or rather didn't care because both Vita and Tom had a thing for Mintart when it comes to getting them out of the abusive household and nothing else other than a job. They even said that no matter if they choose to press charges or not, that nothing is going to change. Mainly because it's fourth degree sexual assault, the least severe degree. Even if their mother's ex-boyfriend did serve time in prison, it's never and not enough to say, we have ourselves a conviction. Let's get a round of applause. Was just a served? Really? Likely not. But again, it doesn't matter anyway. There were, again, among many that Tom had to adopt, like I've said in the last response video. But make no excuse and make no mistake, this is the example 
of Tom indirectly endangering a minor while an active predator was still around, let alone grooming the very victim of sexual assault that Tom and Vita were trying to help at the time. I'm not going to mention Frisky Doodle because it concerns Coyote Lovely's lack of action and moral output, not Tom's, so that shit is irrelevant. But here's the more important and spicy bit for this whole response video. Let's take the only actual predator that Tom actively worked with in the past out of the few that Tom was friends with, like I've mentioned in the last response video, that was convicted for committing other minor crimes. That being Joshua Keith Vita. Joshua Keith Vita, despite the fact that he was several states away from Mint during the whole fiasco surrounding them in 2018, was exposed for the first time by FNGR in May of 2020. Queen Serafina and Lyle Convoy insisted on waiting for more incriminating evidence to surface, not only because because Jazz is known to be a notorious liar, but also because Jazz was too afraid and even blamed Tom for a suicide attempt sometime before their initial video in 2021. After the fact of the first exposure, he got arrested and sent to jail for assaulting his mom on October 17, 2020, while his parents were arguing all the while Vita himself threatening to end his life if he doesn't get enough attention. Lyle Convoy, a former friend and a quote-unquote predator hunter on the internet that actively worked with this predator to get Mintart into a better place and a better life, called 911 on him. The reason why Lyle called the police on Vita was because of the obvious suicide baiting for attention. That, and he wouldn't want to run the risk of Vita actually killing himself which would have turned sour, and no one wants that to happen now, do they? He was later arrested again and booked on June 4th, 2021 for three counts of computer theft. And this is the most recent mugshot that I can find when I looked up. His real name is, of course, from Carroll County, Georgia. He may still be in jail, but if not, and if he's still around, this is not just an example of justice not being served for Jazz, but also an example of Lyo's pure skill of avoiding the police while an active predator is still around, albeit abusing police resources and wasting their time. By the very logic of being a predator hunter in general, in this context, Tom has done a completely dog shit job at an obvious internet hobby, not an actual job. At this point, I don't even really blame law enforcement that much at the end of the day. Let's ask and answer a few but very simple questions. Thomas Guerra, you better pay close attention to these, because they may just put you in your place. Number one, did Joshua Keith Vita commit any actual crimes relating to or involving sexual contact, assault, or even rape of a minor or child? Because if not, then no. Because if you're going to report him to the police, for shit like that, you better have enough proof for the police to then make a determination of whether or not it's worth an arrest, let alone a conviction. They don't just do nothing and inconvenience victims of sexual assault all the time for no reason. Again, there are four degrees of sexual assault. Mint Heart's example is concerning the least severe or the fourth. And finally, number two, did you or the victims contact the authority about Vita's online sexual harassment of Jazz, a minor at that time when it was happening, and Mint Heart while you were at it? If so, well then of course, but the police did absolutely nothing there, not because they haven't committed any crime, but because either you don't know how to teach other people to do the reporting for them, having to involve yourself in it, or you or someone else fucked it all up to hell and back. There is a reason that Tom has no convictions against any of these predators he privately duxed and reported to the police, all the while giving his name, email, phone number, and home address out to them, and reported those predators to the police or their local precincts under his belt. Since he usually goes after low-hanging fruit that don't really pose as a literal big threat to minors or children, both on the internet or IRL at all. Grizzly the Medic is the only exception, because at least Grizzly had some influence, such as Bronicon. So count Vita as not 
being a conviction underneath your belt in this way, Lyle. And let me be clear, this may or may not be my final response to Lyle Convoy. I'm sure that my first one did something significant enough to him already. Anything else that Tom or anyone that's a member of or a staff member of the Senate will only go onto the Drama Archive channel until it's all put in a future major drama compilation supercut, including the videos where I bashed these online predator hunters back in December of 2022, which acts as a major lead up to and before all this drama that's happening now. Although I am able to hop on into the drama every now and then if there are actual and brand new counter arguments slash responses that I can even consider responding to. People in general are fucking idiots, man. Every time I criticize a big YouTuber or go into covering aspects of drama surrounding a guy I knew in 2019 or just put out takes that most people would rather disagree with, then listen, it gets me ratioed on YouTube. Even if and when I give every single factual detail correct, not a single minor inaccuracy. Well, that's beside the point because this second response video should hopefully pour concrete over Lyle Convoy's proverbial grave after the first one just dug a hole for him. I'm Brian Mullins the Fucks, signing out. Fuck you, Lyle Convoy. Fuck you. And absolutely fuck the Senate too.